Hi, I'm Alfred, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to test your connection to an Amazon Elastic Cache, Redis OSS, and Amazon Elastic Cache Memcached cluster from a Linux based Redis CLI client. Let's get started. For this demo, I have already created Redis OSS, Cluster Mode Enable Cluster, Cluster Mode Disable Cluster, and Memcached clusters. Let's first test the connection to Redis OSS cluster. I'm going to launch an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance that runs Amazon Linux 2023 operating system within the same virtual private cloud as the Elastic Cache cluster. After the instance is ready, make sure that the security group of Elastic Cache cluster allows traffic from instance on your port. For this demo, I'm using port 6379. If you don't configure the security group's inbound rule for your port, then the command line interface connection eventually times out. Next, we will connect to the EC2 instance via SSM. Now, I'm going to run the following commands to install the Redis CLI. For Amazon Linux 2023, I'm running the sudo yum install redis 6-y command. I have now successfully installed the Redis CLI. On the Elastic Ash dashboard, I'm going to copy the cluster's endpoint. I'm going to start with Elastic Ash Redis OSS cluster mode disable cluster. For this cluster, Use the primary endpoint for all write operations. Use the reader endpoint to evenly split incoming connections to the endpoints between all read replicas. Use the individual node endpoints for read operations. For this demo, I'm using the primary endpoint. To connect to the cluster mode disable unencrypted cluster, I'm going to use the Redis CLI dash H endpoint dash P six three seven nine command for Amazon Linux 2023. To verify the connection, you can run a ping command. The command replies with a pong to show that you have successfully connected to the cluster mode disabled unencrypted cluster. To connect to a cluster mode enabled unencrypted cluster, I'm going to run the Redis 6 CLI dash C dash H configuration endpoint dash p 6379 command for Amazon Linux 2023. A Redis OSS cluster mode enabled cluster has a configuration endpoint and node endpoints. It is a best practice to use the cluster's configuration endpoint for all the operations that support cluster mode enabled commands. I have added dash c option to instruct the Redis CLI to enable cluster mode so that the commands are automatically redirected to the correct node in the cluster. For in-transit encrypted clusters, make sure to use the dash dash TLS option in the Redis CLI connection string. If you don't include dash dash TLS option, then the connection eventually times out. I'm going to run the command Redis 6-CLI dash C dash H configuration endpoint dash P 6379 dash dash TLS. Again, you can use the ping command to verify the connection. The command replies with the pong to show that you have connected to the Redis OSS cluster mode enabled cluster. For in transit encrypted and authentication turned on clusters, make sure to use dash dash TLS option in the Redis CLI connection string. And once connected, let's make use of auth command. Let's run Redis 6 dash CLI dash H primary endpoint dash P port number and dash dash TLS command. Now let's access into the user admin dash user using the auth command auth username password. Finally, 
Let's verify if we have connected to the right user using the command ACL who am I. Now let's see how to connect to Memcached cluster. To connect to a Memcached cluster without encryption, first run sudo yum install telnet and install the telnet tool. Then check if the security group allows inbound traffic on port 11211. I will use the node endpoint to test connectivity to memcached cluster without encryption. If you use a client application with automatic discovery, then you can use the cluster's configuration endpoint to configure your memcached client. If you don't use automatic discovery, then you must configure your client to use the individual node endpoints for reads and writes. Also, make sure to track the node endpoints when you add and remove nodes. The command's output shows that you are connected to the memcached cluster. To connect to a memcached cluster with encryption, you must use the OpenSSL tool. After you run the command, you receive an output that shows that you are now connected to a memcached cluster with encryption. So now, you know how to test your connection to Elasticash, Redis OSS, and memcached clusters. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.